Welcome college for kids to the Loved in the Hat Tip. Thank you so much for coming. Our kids have been looking so hard on this play just for you. This is a play about a sweet, kind man named William Crenshaw. Yeah, he died. He was murdered by, um, well, that's what we're trying to figure out. Anyways, we hope you enjoy the Loved in the Hat. It's been a tragic accident here at the Robinson Estate. The famous sushi connoisseur, William Crenshaw, has been poisoned with Formula One hat fluid. I couldn't believe it. When I walked in the room, I tried to remove William's hat, but it was, it was, it was glued to his head. Very tragic indeed. Let's speak with the owner of the home, Kate Robinson. I can't believe it was the hat that killed him. I always thought it would be his fugu sushi. Uh, fugu, that's poisonous puffer fish, isn't it? Exactly. I saw it. I saw him preparing it the other day. He said it was for a special guest. A few special guests, actually. This is Rebecca Oaks signing off. Tune in tomorrow for more on this story. Did anyone have anything against your chef? Stell Banks may have something against him. He cooked her something with peanuts in it, and she had to go to the hospital. Very interesting. Her sister was very mad about it, too. Thank you. Who are the special guests? Our new neighbors, Michelle and Samantha Flowers. Hmm, Flowers. Why do those names sound so familiar? They used to be, they used to be Disney Channel stars. That must be it. I know who did it, of course, but did they ask me? No, they didn't, because they never ask us ghosts. Come in. We're here to speak with Stella and Robin Weeks. How can we help you, Detective? We want to know where you were last night. We were at Dunkin' Donuts. We always go there for dessert. Oh, yeah? Well, what's your favorite flavor of donuts? Vanilla. Strawberry. I mean, vanilla. Wait, no. Chocolate. Vanilla. Vanilla is our favorite flavor. Hmm, sounds like you're not sure. What's that on your face? Let's see. <gasps> Strawberry fox things, huh? I heard William Crenshaw had an incident with you once. Oh, that, that was this little anaphylactic talk. Forgive and forget, am I right? Wow, that was a close one. Forgive and forget? I'm still pretty upset about being poisoned with peanuts. Come in. We are looking for Samantha and Michelle Flowers. Seriously, I, I have, I'm not signing the autograph. Wait, do we have fans at our door? Yeah, we're fans. What do famous people do on Saturday nights? For example, what did you do last Saturday night? Well, we were supposed to go over to our neighbors for sushi, but then they canceled on us. So we ended up just staying at home. And we did, we even went to bed early and did all those things. How did it make you feel to have your plans canceled? Did it make you angry? Did it want to make you sick? Remember? I think what I'll, I mean, Pen, my friend Penny is trying to say is, did you forgive your neighbor? I don't really care. We have tons of friends and fans, and we don't need them. Yeah, honestly, it's nice to stay home for a night. I didn't believe they didn't want an autograph. Yeah, they didn't even want a photo. Judge, have you heard any more information about the Crenshaw case? Ah, uh, yes. What a sad situation. William was such a dear friend of mine. Such an unusual situation. Hat glue inhalation. I remember when I took William to buy his first hat. Wow, look at that.
at all these awesome hats. How can I just choose one? You have to think about the purpose of the hat. A good hat needs to keep the sun out of my eyes, protect the top of my head, and make me look extremely interesting. and they seem awfully suspicious. They line about their favorite flavor of donut frosting. That seems very suspicious. I think you are correct to suspect them. And we will bring them in for the trial. Thank you, Judge G. Don't worry, we'll find out the person or people responsible for this. Good. We just left the house of Samantha and Michelle. Flowers. Their alibi was pretty weak, but they seem like good people. I'm sure it's hard being famous. But did they have a motive for hunting Mr. Crenshaw? No, not really. I'm sure they're innocent. They appear to be a revenge type. That does sound sus that does sound suspicious. I will look into their alibi some more. Honestly, I wanna waste my time. Murder over dinner cancellation? I don't think so. Uh, uh, objection! Overruled! Uh, uh, continue, continue investigating! I'm really craving sushi right now. I mean, oh how I miss William. I mean, he was a great chef too. I bought him a new chef hat to celebrate his achievements. It was a very lovely hat too. Too bad other people didn't think so. Celebrate your brother's achievements as well. Celebrate your brother's achievements. Some achievements. He was taken out by a hat. Oh, Lola, I don't know what I'll do about that girl. Savvy is not the one to worry about. There is a friend who is really full, and you must bring him to justice. A ghost! Wait, look closer. It is your mother, Scarlet. She is here to help. Mom, have you been haunting this house the entire time? I have, but I only come when I'm needed, and you need me now. So sorry about your loss. At least he's no longer around to accidentally poison people. Yes, Stella. Accident being the key word. Please come in and have a seat. the truth. Who is responsible for what happened to Mr. Crenshaw? Can't wait for this to be over with soon. Let's call him the first witness. Please tell the court what happened. I couldn't believe it. When I walked in the room, I saw William on the floor with his hat glued to his head. Describe the hat, please. It was his white chef's hat that he always wears. Wrong. It was his black top hat, really nice rim, with the black ribbon on top. 
Judge, how do you know what the hat looked like? Objection! Dismissed! Um, yeah, next witness. We have our first set of suspects, Stella and Robin Banks. Last year, they were in the news because they were suing Mr. Crenshaw over a food poisoning. Stella and Robin Banks, is it true that you were at Dunkin' Donuts last Saturday? It's true! I'm not sure if I believe they lied about their favorite kind of donut. I wouldn't be surprised if they also lied about their alibi. Look, I have the receipt. But uh, 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 dismiss. We have our second set of suspects, Samantha and Michelle Flowers. You may recognize the Flower Sisters from the hit Disney show Flower Power. Did you have a plan with Mr. Crenshaw last Saturday? Why did your plans change? He canceled on us. He must have not known who we are. Yeah, honestly, that's nice. You just have a night at home for him. That makes you angry, doesn't it? No, honestly, it's just nice to have a night at home for him. Yeah, he was probably just busy. Mm. Nothing personal. sneak over, glue on his hat, and disappear. That's right. You're only 20 feet away from the back door where there's a spare key underneath the rug. Judge, how did you know about the key? Objection! Uh, dismiss! Uh, it appears we have two surprise witnesses, Kate Robinson and Lola White, family members of the victim. Would you like to share with the court today? According to the secret source, Judge Jude was at our home that night. Proceed. There was an altercation between Jude and Lilia. Objection! Objection! Uh, you didn't see me there. Judge, are you admitting to being at the scene of the crime? Fine, I admit it. I was there. But you need to understand the situation. Breaking news. Judge Jude has admitted to being at the scene of the crime. Oh, hi there, Jude. How do you like my new hat? It's fine. But you, you promised me that you would always wear the hat that I bought you. But, Jude, I'm a chef now. I have to wear this hat. I'll show you what hat to wear. punch harder than you. Oh, I take it back. Here, now you have no choice but to wear that, that hat, whether you like it or not.